Good day ladies and gents, my name is Helzo and I'm disgusting and today we're going to discuss something of a definitive take of mine regarding the fall, the absolute fall of DEI or better known as diversity, equity and inclusion and yes I did include that because in my last video where i was a bit more personal there was a comment that i didn't i am not actually explaining what dei is and there are people who are not so much into this stuff they're just people who enjoy seeing things and they don't dabble in to the politics of games or with the, all the issues and stuff so yeah dei is diversity equity and inclusion which i did explain in one video what the origin of the whole term and the whole movement is and how it's perverted over time but today i wish to talk about something that i i have labeled the entropy of the whole situation of the whole movement that is the dei the modern game audience the modern entertainment industry as a whole how it's falling down it's crumbling faster than even i expected and how some things from that rubble are starting to rise up and rise up with great great speeds to replace and to fill out the gaps with something better this is basically what happens in nature some things disappear and other things come to some animal or plant species or ecosystems disappear and inevitably something else takes its place it's different it might be better it's more suited for what is already coming along towards that environment and in this case the gamers that are tired that do not want to exist and cater to the modern audience grifters that are the game journalists that are the modern gaming companies that are the consultancy weirdos such as sweet baby inc and just want to enjoy what they used to enjoy before the games have taken a rather hard and very active stand in recent times and when i'm talking about entropy i mean that the system as a whole is already starting to crumble i've talked about a lot of these uh, situations where something was so bad that it was immediately caught by several youtube channels by gamers by other people who reported it on the social media and it was they later expanded upon but it would seem like that those individual cracks are starting to now come together and just form a much larger gap that is eventually ruining the whole foundation of the whole system if you remember years ago the woke industry the the modern gaming audience the dei was something that came out so strong that a lot of people were a bit taking aback and it, it it would seem that this gaming audience and this entertainment audience was so large and so vocal and so dominating that for a time they were virtually undisturbed save from several people fighting up against them but nowadays that falls that is battling those absolute destructive companies and forces is so large the normal people that channels like side scrollers have named are so strong exposing the actual minority that the modern audience is is so vocal that the whole dissection of the the entire industry is going much faster than i think anyone would have expected and i'm going to give you some examples i'm going to start with something that i was thinking of covering but i was unable to do so at the time and it is an article from dual shockers who were briefly explaining how assassin's creed shadows and ubisoft have cancelled the three-day early access of assassin's creed shadows which means that nobody will have early access to play or review the game once it when it eventually comes out this might not seem like a big thing however with the recent delay of Assassin's Creed Shadow which was supposed to come out in November and now it's going to come on Valentine's Day unless another delay is set up afterwards it seems that the troubles for the company are much greater than it used to be along with that we also have a diminished price for the collector edition from $279.95 to $229.95 which is basically a 50% down and this to me coupled with everything else speaks that they're becoming more and more desperate to just make some money from the game because we know 
everybody knows, everybody who kind of digs just a little bit knows that Ubisoft is in big trouble with investors, big trouble with meeting any of their quotas for profit for this year. They probably won't, especially when it was revealed that the game Skull and Bones cost $850 million dollars to develop which even if a game is absolutely massively successful to the point of having the sales of this year's black meat wukong it would still be a very hard task to achieve the profits that you want to achieve from such a games from such a game and it has gotten so bad that that ubisoft are allegedly talking with the chinese conglomerate tencent to privatize the company and to be essentially bought out which some people said that this is exactly what Tencent wanted from the beginning and that actually some backwater tactics were issued to make Yasuke the main protagonist because they know that he would have been hated and it would have tanked the company making it her stocks cheap the company stocks cheaper and making it essentially easier to be bought. I don't know if those tactics are actually in play in this point, but the effect is visible. The Ubisoft's company stocks are currently way down. They're around 13.3 euro at the moment at the international market, which is a bit higher than the last time I reported, but they're still at 80% down since 2021. And this is a massive drop for just several years. And while those effects are for Ubisoft alone, they do highlight a bigger, bigger picture that we're starting to see more and more. We had a lot of games like Tales of Kinzera Zhao. We had the Silent Hill 2 controversy. We had Dragon Age Veilgard, the absolute destruction of the Dragon Age franchise, which was labeled as a soft reboot, making gamers frustrated at the very notion of such a beloved game being so corrupted with DEI and wokeness and top surgery scars and non-binary in inclusions that are completely unnecessary that you just can't not see the connection from all of this and the connection in my opinion is that these gaming companies are becoming more and more desperate and they're just trying to cash in as quickly as possible before the metaphorical comet just comes down and destroy their ecosystem and i and the biggest in my opinion evidence of that is something that grooms and later smash jt covered about the gaming awards no not the gaming awards the gaming awards this has been something that i have seen several years ago when i was not active on my youtube channel i saw this show that it existed i didn't pay it much attention and now i see it again and grums my mark kern basically just described and dissected the latest promotional email from gaming mag and what he says is that this mirrors the offers that he has seen from many smaller outlets as a game publisher and now he's listing some of the things that caught his eye the most first the first one is paid social media boost of your social ad with guaranteed impressions of 600,000. and he adds i wonder how they achieve such boosting and i'm pretty sure that 600,000 is something that is not very achievable depending on the money and it would require a lot of online post boosting that people would just engage but uh, having said engage meaning that they would just look at it or accidentally click it without any interest whatsoever because it impressions do thing do mean that like you are doing something with the post but you're not really guaranteed to be interested in the post so you can have a social media post or ad for your game but the 600,000 clicks would not cannot guarantee even a fraction of that people will buy your game the second one is even more interesting paid for articles to be written about your game the question is are they disclosing that these are sponsored with no information whatsoever but the notion of having paid for articles so basically you're paying for someone to write you an article a positive article about your game or your product 
and to just glorify it without not having even having to play the game at this point and the cost he explained is like seven to eight thousand us dollars which gets you regular advertising social media posts <laughs> shilling your game guaranteed impressions and featuring of your game on their podcasts and streams imagine this like you are an indie developer that are just trying to get your game out there and you have to pay this much for to a show award show or a magazine to just promote your game and when we're talking about the gaming magazine and the the, the gaming award show that means that your game or your product that means that your game has to cover a lot of tick boxes in order to be worthy of those promotions because it is the gaming magazine so they're promoting lgbtq plus minus divide and such and such and such i highly doubt that they will promote an indie version of warhammer 40,000, if you know what i mean but what the biggest thing that caught my eye is that you can also sponsor their virtual gaming convention for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars or their gaming award show for 125 thousand dollars and while he says that that's not unusual to be paying for a spot at a gaming awards show it is a bit unusual to see that it is virtual so basically it's not at a venue it's not somewhere that has to be rented out let's say a hall or somewhere in the city that needs to accommodate a couple of thousand people it's virtual so basically i'm sitting in my room and i'm presenting some game awards and i'm in the comfort of my room and the show that i'm at and I'm presenting still gets those kind of money for that which in my opinion this is either a scam or just some form of a delusion that a lot of people don't seem to get why would someone pay that amount of money is beyond me and I don't think that a lot of money have paid that amount of money because this is an amount that basically can guarantee you a lot of stuff like 150,000 that some places can even guarantee you the whole rent of a venue so do with that information as you will but the reason i'm say saying all this is that these amounts and these shows are becoming more and more brazen and more and more just absolutely outrageous to promote the dei and the woke gaming culture all the while the numbers are contradicting everything that they're doing more and more actively you have the the newest game unknown 9 if i'm not mistaken that as reported by side scrollers has actually had zero physical sales at a lot of game stops which for a game that is promoted and presented in a lot of different articles it is just laughable it's one thing for an indie game that costs a fraction of that to have zero sales at some venues or even on steam and it's another thing that a game that costs at least 50 to 60 million to be doing so so bad they're basically burning money so fast that even the joker from dark knight would be impressed and all of this is happening as the that gaming industry refuses to even acknowledge gamers it refuses to even acknowledge either their existence or much less their opinion i'm talking about the gamers who actually take the time and play the games either enjoy them or not enjoy them spend hours and hours and days sometimes just streaming the game making the videos discovering the secrets take talking about bugs volunteering to be testers for the game and not just someone who is talking about how inclusive a game is without even trying to describe the gameplay such as some of the reviews that we received from for Dustborn. for instance as from hills versus babyface is currently playing Dustborn and he is suffering through it but he's making it because if you want to talk about something the best thing to do is to experience it even if that is a grueling experience and i have talked a bit about Dustborn, but only to the point that i'm covering the news and i'm not talking about the game as a whole because i have not played it and while the gaming the modern gaming industry is not acknowledging gamers and is falling apart right in front of my eyes some stuff are rising from the ashes 
and taking a lot of space and gaining a lot of popularity and i'm sure that you have heard of this but this is the real gaming awards this is a game from stuttering craig d-day cover cabrudus mark mark the cyborg and others that are coming soon that have just developed this website they're very passionate about it and they just want to bring the games and the game awards back to who deserves the most to have them reviewed and this is the gamers and i've read some people that are complaining that you have to pay to be able to vote and to that i say yeah you do have to pay some money to be able to vote for a certain game on that website however for your vote does not count for what is the standard 10 percent of the entire vote meaning that anything else can trump it in that game award not to mention that you would also have to pay at certain points to the other gaming awards shows and also the amount is only 30 dollars per year which means that you're paying these 30 dollars and your voice is one of the many voices that are almost exclusively responsible for what a game what game would receive the said award and we have a lot of awards and a lot of tiers we have negative negative tiers that exclaim failure of a company and some blunders or controversies that have happened but what i wanted to just explain is that this is a website and this is a campaign and a, a thing that is happening now which i think that if if it continues it will bring gamers together in a sense that hasn't been done in a very long time and it will make other gaming shows very very afraid because this is not done by this is not something small a lot of people have already signed for that and when the time comes to receive the votes and to host the event itself it will be amazing and a lot of people a lot more people will tune into that than they're tuning for the standard game shows and when that happens the numbers will once again speak for themselves and that will be another blow to the modern gaming industry and as i mentioned in the beginning of the video this entropy will continue to deepen and it's going to go faster and faster and faster and i think we'll be seeing the complete destruction of the narrative as we have it today probably in the next few months we have talked about before how money money is the one thing that speaks the loudest in these situations and the money i've seen to run out because when you have something that doesn't make you money consistently for year and years now you just wisen up and stop stop dumping cash into it altogether and when that happens we'll see exactly how passionate the gamers of the modern audience are and if they would be up to donate the real gaming awards now and the same way that people are doing to youtubers and to people like smash jt with his legal fees a month ago against Alyssa mercante because that's what a community does a community comes around and helps helps out and fights for the good cause that you're presenting and if you're not presenting a good cause and if you just are there to look virtuous to present yourself as the higher being and not actually sticking to your guns and having the guts to go through thick and thin like the modern audience don't then you will eventually fail once the sponsorship money runs out and that will happen very very soon anyways that's all i have to say for today thank you for sticking with me up until this point if you enjoyed this video press the like button press the subscribe button to follow me on youtube and enjoy every new content as well as my old content press the join button if you want to become a discussing enthusiast and support me directly and if you want to help stray animals and animals in shelters visit my patreon page down in the description and consider becoming a member so i can continue to help those animals regularly thank you for watching this i have been here so this was disgusting and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and stay fresh